Okay, let's get started. Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa Andrade, and I am the marketing director here at Datamite. We are all very excited to have you on the line as we launch our Datamite Revolution, our newest generation of portable data collection. Today, we'll cover various topics. We'll highlight the benefits of upgrading to the Datamite Revolution, giving an in-depth side-by-side comparison of the functionality and features to the 600 data collector. We'll also show the device's integration capabilities with added value software programs to further enhance your data collection and reporting capabilities, all of which help to manage a closed loop process to improve quality in your organization. Today, we have a 35 to 40 minute presentation given by both Ron Phipps and Jim Dallas, who are both regional managers here at Datamite. Jim and Ron hold extensive experience in implementing data collection solutions for our clients. Then we'll have about 15 minutes of time for any questions you may have. Vicki Peary from our professional services team will join in on the line to assist in answering your questions, along with Ron and Jim. The, the audio capability is turned off for you while joining us today. If you have specific questions, send them in at any time through the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. We will try to address all questions, but if we're not able to get to yours, a solution expert will get back to you. If you would like a follow-up from a solution expert, please indicate this here or in the post e-survey. The webinar is recorded and you'll receive a link to it afterwards. And you will see a few polling questions come across in the presentation as well, so stay tuned for those. Now at this time, I will turn our presentation over to Mr. Ron Phipps. Thank you, Melissa. And thank you to everyone for taking your time today to attend the webinar. My name is Ron Phipps and I am a regional manager here at Datamite. New releases are always cool and we're really excited provide you, our top customers, with the first look at our next generation in data collection. But first, let's take a quick look back. Um, everyone here on the call knows Datamite, but I bet not everybody knows that we've been around for several decades. In fact, we've been providing solutions for data collection going all the way back to the 1960s. Our history even includes being a division of Allen Bradley during the 1980s. And let me tell you, when you've got a long successful track record, you know you're doing something right. We're proud to be providing great solutions over the past 50 years. We love what we do. And I'll tell you, the reason that we are so successful is that we just don't sit still. We continue to evolve. We look at what the market demands, or in other words, what you, our customers need. And we also stay in front of the technology changes and how that has remained a leader in the data collection world. Anyone familiar with Datamite knows that we always provide a robust solution. And it's that solution that you rely on to achieve your quality goals. Next. So when we look at the current 600 data collector, it's really easy to see why Datamite has, has just been the standard for over the last 10 years. I mean, simply put, it, it's a great device. The 600, it would simplify your, your complex data collections by interfacing with literally hundreds of gauges and it provides that real easy, straightforward operation with the LightStar torque wrench. And it does this while being a very durable and lightweight device that is easily operated with a single hand operation. When we build our solutions, we don't build them for us, we build them for you. With the goal to improve operations with speed, uh, traceability, and even cost improvements. Now listen, Datamite is simply that trusted solution that you can rely on time and time again, right? It's there to improve your data integrity 
regardless of the manufacturing environment that you're in. Next. So we briefly touched on kind of a little bit of a history, history lesson. We've been around for a really long time. Um, but I want to kind of fast forward, jump back to the present, and just take a moment and, and discuss with you guys a recent case study that we did that involved our solution. In this particular case, we had a client who was collecting data with a very manual process. It was labor intensive, very time consuming. There was little to no traceability available. And it, at some points, it even failed to meet the set requirements of the customer base. So our challenge, which we are more than happy to accept, was to attempt to improve that entire process. You know, provide a time savings, uh, improve data integrity, provide that 100% traceability, and even show cost improvements throughout. So this current process was something that took between 20 to 25 minutes to complete. It was a, it was a simple five-step inspection process. But the way that it was structured is that it utilized and dedicated two team members to accomplish through a manual gauge reading, pen and pencil clipboard collection, and then at a later time, entering that data into the database. Too many touch points. Datamite was able to build that same collection route, but we were gonna do it electronically we were able to dramatically reduce the total time it took from 25 minutes to a staggering 30 seconds. And on top of this, we did it with one team member. This pushed the perceived efficiencies even further as it freed up the team members to support other projects that were important to this client. This case was a 98% improvement in productivity. Phenomenal. It optimized their time and labor and provided 100% complete traceability back to the data. It's truly a great story. Next. Here at Datamite, we're very customer focused. And with our development process, we are striving to make that transition to any next generation solution we provide very seamless and simple for our users. We don't want any struggles transitioning to a new platform. We know that you have expected the highest quality from Datamite, and that's why we have spent considerable time ensuring that the rugged and robust design that you've, that you've known and come to love from prior models continue to live on in the revolution. But I know what you might be thinking right now, right? That there's, there's got to be a learning curve. It's a new device. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm not here. And we're going to talk about a simple transition. The learning curve is almost zero because we built this revolution to be backwards compatible with all of your inspection plans, all of your gauge suites that you're currently using today. We've also built an upgraded software platform to drive those solutions. So the transition is seamless. Another great thing is that your database remains the same as it is today. There is no change. There is nothing to learn, right? You're going to continue to utilize the same analysis tools, the same reporting modules that your team is already familiar with. Again, that transition will be seamless for you. Next. A really important thing for Datamite, really important thing for you is universal connectivity. This revolutionary device was strategically built to be ambiguous and agnostic, allowing you to connect to anything, really, that you need to collect data, whether that's gauges, torque wrenches, calipers, indicators, gap and flush, pinch, 
laser. I mean, the list goes on and on. This flexibility, along with the common database for all of your data, provides a simple solution to meet your quality goals. Universal connectivity. You name it and we'll talk to it. And if we don't, we will. Now I will turn it back to Melissa. Okay, we'll launch our first poll question. How long has your company been using Datamite data collectors? Give you a few seconds here to log your answers. Couple more seconds and then I'm gonna close the poll. Closing the poll and sharing our results. We have 27% of you have been using it for zero to three years, 0% three to five years, 13% five to 10 years, 13% 10 to 15 years. And wow, we've got 47% using the datamites for more than 15 years. Thanks so much for participating. Now I am going to turn the presentation over to Mr. Jim Dallas. Thank you very much, Melissa. Welcome everyone to the revolution and thank you again for attending today. My name is Jim Dallas and I am a regional sales manager here at Datamite. Some of you may know me as your local Datamite sales rep. What I'm going to talk about now is the comparison between the old Model 600 and the new revolution. So one of the first things you're going to notice uh, about the new revolution is we've tried to streamline and simplify the number of configurations that are available. So what we basically have are three types of configurations that you can get. Uh, we have the torque configuration, which you'll see there at the bottom left of the screen. That configuration will come with um, a, a digital cabled connection uh, to a, a cabled uh, torque wrench or it will have a wireless uh, Bluetooth connection to wireless Bluetooth wrenches. We also have a digital LMI micro uh, digital gauge configuration, which you see there in the center at the bottom of the screen. And that will allow you to connect to all of your various digital hand gauges like calipers and dial indicators and gap and flush probes and things like that. And it will also have the cable ports there that you see in the picture. And it will also have a Zigbee wireless uh, connection built in internally for use with micro ridge or wireless gauges. But the really great new thing about the new revolution is now for the first time, we have the ability to have a dual combined use data collector. So now you can actually get the data collector configured to do both torque and digital hand gauges. In the past with other models like the 600, you had to have one configuration for doing torque and another configuration for doing digital gauges. So you had to purchase two separate units. With the Revolution, we've now uh, made it possible for you to get everything in one data collector. So I think that's going to be a huge uh, leap forward that many of you out there will, will truly appreciate. Um, also at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the, the uh, bottom of the new revolution, uh, and we will still have that US, digital USB cable uh, port for connecting the uh, revolution to your data connect, uh, collection PC, and it will also still have a Wi-Fi connection option to allow you to connect to your data collection PC wirelessly through your plant's Wi-Fi network. So a lot of the things have remained the same. The things that you've come to trust and rely on and count on are the same, but there are also some new and exciting features. Next slide, please. So one of the first things you're gonna notice when you get a chance to pick up the new revolution and play with it, is you're gonna notice that it's got a much uh, better, more intuitive user interface. It is uh, an interface that is more like what you're used to on your other devices, uh, which is going to make it uh, much easier, more intuitive, much easier to navigate, and much easier to respond to prompts. Um, it's also got a much new, it's got a new, much larger touchscreen. 
So the screen is now 42% larger than it was on the old 600. It's now a five inch screen and it's got that touch screen capability, which to me is one of the greatest new features of the revolution. Um, this is going to make it much easier to read with that larger screen. If you're older like me and have bad eyesight, you're really gonna appreciate that being able to read the screen better. Uh, it's going to have much better resolution. It's going to offer you much higher definition for your images. And that's going to come in handy when you're using work instructions on the screen and your operators need to view them. Um, also, one other great new thing that the touch screen provides is we now have the ability to do image manipulation on the screen. So if you look at that picture there on the right hand side, there are icons on the screen for zoom, pan, and rotate. So you will now be able to zoom, pan, and rotate your images simply by touching the screen, which again, gives your operators uh, a better look or different looks at work instructions if they need it. So I think this is a really great, exciting new feature of the uh, revolution that a lot of you out there will, will really appreciate. Next slide, please. One of the new add-on options that we have for the Revolution, we now have a high definition camera option. So the high definition camera option uh, will now allow you to take uh, pictures or images uh, to help with your traceability. Um, it is new to the Revolution. It was not available on the 600. And now you can capture images for use with your uh, corrective action or with your attribute data collection. So uh, this will be an option that you can choose on the new revolution. I think a lot of people will be excited about that. Next slide. One of the things that's remained the same with the revolution as with the 600 is we still have a barcode option reader. Uh, so uh, with the uh, barcode reader, it is still, uh, uh, it is, still uh, has uh, the same industrial quality scanner as the 600 had, so you're not gonna have a reduction in the quality. It's still able to read 2D and 3D barcodes and VIN numbers. Um, it is still able to read in low light or indirect light conditions. You're still able to read uh, through a windshield with the barcode scanner, uh, so it makes a perfect yard audit tool. Um, it also, uh, helps to improve your data integrity and traceability uh, by reducing the human influence over your data. As we all know, anytime humans can influence data, it, it really kills that data integrity. So when we design things for data might, we really try to reduce that human influence over data as much as possible. Um, however, the one thing that has changed with the barcode scanner uh, from the 600 to the new revolution is it is now much easier to use on the revolution. In the past with the 600, if you wanted to activate the barcode scanner, you had to either press enter or shift plus enter, depending on how you set your characteristics and labels up. But now with the revolution, there will be a barcode scanner icon on the screen, and you'll simply be able to just tap that icon to activate the barcode scanner. Um, and this is, as I mentioned, an option that you can purchase with your initial purchase of the data collector, or you can add it on later, uh, just like with the 600. And just like with the 600, it's going to be a little less expensive if you uh, add it on with the initial purchase of the data collector. Um, so if you're pretty sure you're gonna want this option or you need this option, you may want to seriously consider adding it at the time of the purchase of the data collector. Next slide, please. So one of the greatest new features of the revolution that I think most of you on this webinar are going to love is we have now added an advanced search capability to the revolution. So we now have a Google-like freeform search window on the screen. And you can now easily search for things like setups, gauge, gauges, characteristics, and reports. You simply have to type a few characteristics in that search window and the revolution will pull up all of the results that match that search. Um, this can 
save a lot of time and effort for our larger customers who may have hundreds of setups to search through. Um, you know, in the past, you had to bring up all of those setups and search through them with the arrow keys. But with the revolution, you can now just type in a simple search there and it will bring up all the searches that match. Um, also, uh, we still have barcode search capability like you had on the 600. So you can set up a barcode for each collection area and then your operators can scan that barcode with the revolution and the revolution will automatically bring up the correct setup for that inspection area. And you can still also use the keyboard for searching. You can still use the arrow keys to search through lists if you desire. The point being is at Datamite, we try to give you as many options to do things the way you would like to do them as opposed to being forced to do them one single way. So now you have a number of options for doing searches that you didn't have with the 600. Next slide. This next one is one of my favorites, and I think it was one that was uh, requested by a lot of you on the uh, webinar today and a lot of our customers. Uh, the new revolution will now have a vibration or tactical feedback functionality. So the revolution will now vibrate for out of spec readings in addition to giving you the visual light cues and the audible beep cues. Um, this I think we will find really helpful in loud plants uh, in conditions where beeps can't be heard. You'll now have this additional feedback from the vibration and the vibration is pretty strong. So if you're one of those users that doesn't actually hold the data collector in your hand, but maybe you wear it on a belt clip and it rests on your thigh or you wear it on a shoulder strap and it rests uh, on your stomach or on your chest, that vibration will still be strong enough for you to feel it. Um, we also now have, this is another great feature, we now have the capability to do alarms and notifications on the Revolution. This again is something that's new to the Revolution. It was not on the 600. Now you can trigger and sound alarms for out of spec readings and other non-conformities. Uh, new automatic uh, background data upload feature that we have on this um, will help to enable this functionality in real time. Um, and escalations can also be added and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in more detail in further slides to come. Next slide. So what we're doing here is a little deeper dive into what I mentioned in an earlier slide about improved characteristic navigation. So we're showing the comparison of how it was done in the 600 versus how it will be done in the revolution. So you can see the old 600 screenshot on the left and the new revolution screenshot on the right. With the 600, you had to bring up an entire list of characteristics and then manually search down through the entire list with the arrow keys until your desired characteristic was found. But, and that was very labor intensive and very time consuming. And I'm sure it drove a lot of you crazy out there. Well, now it's much easier with the new search window on the revolution. As you can see there on the right, it has an on-screen keyboard. So you bring up the keyboard, you type in the first few uh, characters of what you're looking for, and the revolution will bring up everything that matches that search query. Next slide. So another feature we have is the new automated data upload feature. So on the 600, data can only be uploaded manually by hitting the send button. But now on the revolution, you have another option to do this thanks to its continuous Wi-Fi capability. Now you can still upload the data manually with the send button if you wish, but you can also set triggers for automated data upload in the background, like when a subgroup is completed or when a route is completed. You also have the option to allow the data to be uploaded at the end of a subgroup, even if data is missing or skipped, or you can only allow data to be uploaded at the end of a subgroup if it's completed and all data has been gathered. Again, we give you options to do things how you want to do them. You have control with these settings. Um, you can also eliminate false alarms by using these advanced configuration settings. 
Um, the continuous Wi-Fi allows for near real-time notifications. And again, we'll get into that a little bit further on down. Next slide, please. So another thing that uh, is remaining the same with the Revolution as with the 600 is you're still going to have the ability to do offline data collection. Um, you can still continue to collect data offline if you lose connectivity to your network. This helps reinforce the traceability of your data. You will not lose data during a power outage because data is still saved on the device, just like with the 600. This is not true with other mobile collection devices like a phone. So it's a little bit of added data security that you get with the Datamite product. Next slide. So some more features, one-stop data collection and improved workflow. You now have an intuitive UI and touchscreen that provide easier navigation, which allows for easier access to data like images, descriptors, and prompts. Now you also have a toggle-like navigation capability for the menus at the top and the bottom of the screen, thanks to the new touchscreen. With the 600, you had to use a combination of keystrokes to access this information. Both with the revolution, but with the revolution, you can simply just tap the screen in either one of those areas on either one of those icons to simply toggle back and forth between what you're looking to do. You can still use the keyboard though, however, if you prefer to. We understand change is hard for some people, so we wanted to keep the old way in there along with the new way. So again, we give you options to do things the way you prefer to do them. Next screen. So another feature that has kind of remained the same but changed slightly is you still have automatic gauge synchronization. So you still have the ability, uh, just like with the 600, to automatically detect and sync with your tools. Um, this ensures that the correct tool is used with the data collector every time. Um, now, though, with the enhanced display capability, the Revolution displays not only the gauge description or the alias, but also the gauge serial number. So if you look there in the bottom right hand uh, of that picture there on the right, you'll see that it says WR75-SN number 04026. You couldn't have that serial number display with the 600, but you now can have that with the Revolution. So this just adds an extra pokey oak or a layer of security to prevent incorrect or uncalibrated tools from being used with a data collector. Operators can now check and confirm that they have the exact right set of tools with the exact right collector before they go out onto the plant floor. This will save them a lot of shoe leather and getting all the way out there and having to come back because they discovered they grabbed the wrong set of wrenches. Next slide. So what we're doing here is a little deeper dive into the previous slide. And we're going to take a look at comparing the 600 uh, data collector input screen to the revolution screen. Um, and as you can see, the 600 screen is on the left and the revolution screen is on the right. And we can see how the 600 only shows the gauge alias, says WR75, uh, while the revolution screen shows both the alias and the serial number. Next slide. Uh, this next new feature is one of my personal favorites, and I think a lot of you on the webinar are going to love this one. We now have dynamic displays with the Revolution. Uh, this is, in my opinion, one of the best new features. Uh, if you remember, with the 600, you only had static displays or images, and they could not be modified or manipulated. However, with the Revolution, you now have an interactive dynamic display and images that they that can be manipulated and modified. The 600 torque curve on the left and the revolution torque curve on the right are very different. You can't move the crosshair on the 600 curve on the left to see other points along that data curve. 
So if you had it set for angle restart, you'll see the data for angle restart, but you couldn't move that crosshair to the peak point to see the, the data for the peak point. So with the revolution, that crosshair is now interactive and you can actually slide that crosshair with your finger on the screen to move it to other points along the curve. So you can go and check out what the data is for the peak point. You also have much easier access uh, to additional screens with the revolution by simply tapping the screen option icons at the bottom or the top of the screen, uh, thanks to the touchscreen. So with the 600, you had to use a number of keystrokes to do this, and you had to close out of one screen before you could open up another. Now with the, uh, with the new dynamic displays and the touchscreen of the revolution, you can now toggle between different uh, data views much easier. Next slide. So, one of the things that has not changed, you're still going to have the security that you've come to rely on from Datamite. You still have the same trusted secure system you've come to expect from Datamite. The solution is still locked down for wireless and Wi-Fi and cable connections. You still have impeccable data integrity thanks to secure data transfers between the revolution and your data metrics database. You still, we still don't have any third-party apps on the revolution, so you don't have to worry about third-party bugs, viruses, or hacks. You still have encryption support, and there are still only data metrics registered devices that can be used with this system. So bottom line, your data is still just as secure as it was with the 600. Next slide. At this time, we'll have another polling question. What are you currently using your Datamite data collector for in your plant? Give you a few seconds to answer. And we will start to close the poll. And I'll share the results. We currently have 33% using digital and analog gauging, 33% use it for residual torque, 27% for both, and 7% use it for other purposes. Thank you so much for voting, and I will turn it back over to Ron Phipps. Thanks, Melissa, and thanks, Jim. Great explanation on the, uh, the 600 to the revolution. And, and the reason we're, we're here today talking about the revolution is that as, as technology advances, we advance with it. And, and we touched about that in the very beginning. The next generation of this portable data collection has arrived. And it's, it's more than just data collection, right? The revolution has the ability to transform your data into communications. And, and it's these communications that can be shared with your entire team. And you can do that very rapidly, right? So the functionality is feasible by utilization of the alerts and notifications and escalations. The bottom line is that it gives your ability for your team to provide quicker resolutions to concerns that have been identified. And we're talking that you know, speed is king in today's environment. But it doesn't just end there. Uh, the revolution will go even farther. We're providing the ability to integrate with the brand new Datamite workflow solutions. It's gonna give you the ability to expand your capabilities beyond the normal data collection. You now have the ability to, pro to include things like uh, a digital checklist functions, visual data collections, and a powerful escalation tool. These are some solutions that we will discuss a little bit further in the webinar, but again, you have data collection, but you have a lot more with the revolution. So just to be clear, this revolution is not just a data collector. It's a data intelligence device. And let me say that again. 
It's a data intelligence device, which goes beyond just your data collection. Next. So the reason that we speak of this in, in, as a data intelligence device is that, again, it turns your collected data into, into useful insight. It gives you the greater ability and management for your entire process. And we're talking about being able to collect data, analyze data, communicate on that data, and then ultimately act on that data. It's a full closed loop process to give you that quality process improvement. So when we talk about the collecting, right? And as we noted earlier on, and Jim has mentioned it, and I have mentioned it, it's an ambiguous agnostic environment. We're allowing that universal connectivity, which you use to collect your data from a wide range of gauges and torque wrenches. Your data can then be integrated with your network as our device is IoT ready and can reach even further with the new solutions through checklists, visual data collection your current data collection, your communications. Next. So after we've gone about and, we, and we've collected that data, we've acquired the data we need, we're gonna to wanna to analyze it. And again, this is done by using Datamite's powerful tools through statistical analysis, um, detailed reporting through insight, exception reviews, characteristic reviews, uh, all the way to web reporting. So you've got a very large tool chest of ability to analyze the data that you have collected and how you want to report that data and look at that data. Again, I go back to the seven, or the 600 and, and the revolution being transitionally zero learning curve and utilizing these new tools in the new device seamless for your, your team. So after we've collected and analyzed, we're going to now talk about the communication. What do we want to do with this data now that we have it? We want to be able to communicate. So the, the key here is that you're going to receive that instant feedback. You're going to know immediately if you have an in or out of spec measurement that was taken. And it's that rapid response that you get that's going to allow you the best time, the best reaction, the best management of those measurements that were non-conforming. This is that near real-time information we talked about. And as Jim noted earlier, we have the automatic uploading of your data in the background. So there is no need to have to stop the process, upload your data, and then resume back into the process. Your data communicates, happens instantly in the background, so that data is rapidly provided to you. Next. Okay, so now we have data and it's been communicated. What are we gonna do? We've gotta close that loop and we've gotta take some action on it. And because you're receiving this information in that near real-time environment, you can react quickly to whatever causes and corrective actions you need to complete your process. Viewing this information is very simple. You're going to see whether you're at either in a dashboard environment or through the communicative reporting tools and modules that you have today. But sharing that information is simple and readily available. And with the improved visibility, it provides you can move what was once like an individual type of process and having to go through different steps to a more of a team process. You're, you're engaging an entire team with the communication tools you have. And that improves your speed and feedback to provide you with the solution to your concerns at a rapid pace. By implementing this closed loop process we just discussed, you've now created a system, right? It allows you to take the right action at the right time and improve your overall quality process. Next slide.
So leveraging the power of data metrics, right? We've got this database solution that harmonizes access to all of your data. You're collecting data through through different methodologies, and we've been talking about a mobile environment here today, providing that data back to the database. You're agnostic. Connecti connectivity to all of your gauges, all of your data collection points, collecting all the data you need, running those statistical process controls, and feeding that back to the, to the main database. New implementation tools, which we will speak of shortly. It's also the insight, analysis, and reporting that you're using in a form today, providing the feedback on the information you've gathered, connected to the data metrics database. And then further, looking through this information through a production monitor system or web reporting or a report scheduler. Collectively, these pieces together provide you with the right tools, the right solution to react, respond to your data to provide you with the utmost top level quality. You're able to collect, respond, analyze, and act upon your data. I will turn it back to Melissa. Thank you. Okay, I will talk through our last polling question. Does your company utilize clipboard or paper checklist processes for data collection? Give you a few seconds here to answer. And I'll start closing the poll. I'll share the results. All right, we've got 50% that use them every day, 17% sometimes, 25% rarely, 8% never. Thanks so much for participating in the polls and I will turn it back to Jim for a little overview of the software and to conclude. Thank you, Melissa. And uh, thanks, Ron, excellent job in getting us to this point. Um, so for those of you who are in that 50% uh, that answered that last question about using uh, paper and wooden clipboards and paper checklists, I think you're really going to like this next section of the presentation. Um, one of the challenges that we have uh, that we faced when developing the new revolution was how do we add more value to it for our customers? How do we make it more applicable in other areas besides just quality? How do we make it so that it can be used in, in multiple types of applications outside of just the quality department? And so far, when we've talked about the enhancements and improvements of the revolution over the 600, they've all been great enhancements. But I think my personal favorites are the new software capability that we're offering with the revolution, because these really, really take this data collection device to the next level and really make it not your father's old data collector. So currently, we've got three new solutions that are in beta testing. These are three new software platforms. Um, these softwares will be able to be loaded on the Datamite Revolution, which will enhance that device's capability. Um, they'll also be highly customizable so that you can customize them to your own specific needs. And these solutions, like everything we do, will greatly enhance your data collection capabilities and the ability to act on that data. It will give you the ability to do something with the data you're collecting. So let's take a closer look at these three solutions. Next slide. So the first new solution we have is called Digital Clipboard. And it's pretty much what the name implies. We are taking that old wooden clipboard and paper checklist that you have and you carry around the plant and we are updating it to the 2000s and making it digital um, and uh, this process provides you with several benefits one it allows you to have a very customizable checklist that you can alter for any application any situation any customer um, it can be deployed on multiple devices uh, it can be deployed on the Datamite Revolution, but if you don't, uh, if a department doesn't use a Datamite Revolution, it can also be used on a tablet or a phone or a fixed station PC. Um, and what's really great about this is in addition to improving your, your data traceability and your data integrity, because 
all the data is stored in your data metrics central database. Um, you know, it, it, an example of that is, you know, handwriting can be uh, poor and, and, and difficult to read on a paper checklist. Uh, with the uh, digital clipboard, that's not a problem because that data gets automatically entered electronically on the screen. And also, data can be easily manipulated by humans uh, so that the data equals what they want it to equal. That can't happen with digital clipboard. Um, so it's, it, it's a much more secure way to protect your data integrity. Now, one of the other great benefits of this, then this picture you see on the screen is a great example of this. In, in recent times with the COVID-19 crisis, um, health and well-being have become of utmost importance. And with old uh, wooden clipboards and paper checklists, it's a very unsanitary process. Um, you know, you can't spray down a wooden clipboard and paper to sanitize them because you'll, you'll kind of wreck them and destroy them. But if you've got a data mite revolution or you've got a tablet or a phone, you can spray that down and disinfect it before you hand it off to the next person, thereby helping you with your EHS efforts to reduce virus spread in your plants. And that picture is a great example because that paper checklist there with that pen attached to that shoestring, that would be a huge no-no in the food and beverage industry because that's a a possible threat that could fall into the food. Um, so we eliminate that threat with this new product. And the great thing about this new product is that it's a versatile tool. It can be used anywhere you're using a, a wooden clipboard and paper checklist in your plant right now. So it's not just for quality. It can be used for audits, EHS audits, waste audits, yard audits, anything you're doing in the plant. And it can be used in, in any uh, department in a plant, um, quality, engineering, manufacturing, and it can be used across all industries, automotive, aerospace, consumer goods, food and beverage, medical, and others. So this, I think this is a great product out there you're, you're, you're really going to love. Next slide. So we've taken some, uh, we've doing a little deeper dive here in the digital clipboard. We've got some screenshots here to give you an idea of what the clipboard screen might look like for you. Um, it's got, you know, as I mentioned, customizable checklists. We can pretty much duplicate or create any type of checklist you want to have with this product. Uh, you can create your routes or campaigns with specific data. Uh, you can have your operators conduct their audits by following your specific checklist. And the great thing about this is that operators can receive immediate feedback on that data that they're collecting. So they can tell immediately, was that data that I entered good or was it bad? It's just another product that really helps you act on the data that you're collecting. Next slide. The next one we have is called VSpec. And this is another really great product that I think many of you are going to love. Uh, it is a visual attribute data collection solution. And basically, it is a way, to, another way we offer to help improve your traceability and your data integrity. Um, you can now do uh, detailed inspection checklists for attribute data. Um, so if you are collecting attribute data, especially visual attribute data, this is going to be a great tool that's going to help you do that. And it's an all-in-one self-contained system. And as with a digital checklist, the data all goes into your central repository database along with your other collected data. So it's not going to a separate area. You're not having different piles of data. It's all going into one central database. And uh, so what I, I would like to do is uh, go to the next slide here and we'll, sh I think, we have another example of this mini lights on the next slide. So one of the things, actually, you know what, if you could go back to the last slide. So how this, pro this product will work is you'll see there in the picture on the screen, we've got a picture of the vehicle and we've got a, a, a grid system overlaid on it. So with VSpec, You'll be able to take pictures of your vehicles or whatever product you make. Uh, it could be a, a 
a, a can of liquid or it could be you know an aerospace part whatever you make you'll be able to take pictures of that store it in the v-spec system and then when the operator is going to check for uh, visual attribute data inspections like surface defects they will pull up this first step here and this first step will ask the operator to identify where on the part or on the vehicle this uh, surface defect is occurring. And they can simply uh, touch the screen, mark the area on the picture where the defect occurs. They can also use their finger to circle that and they can uh, write handwrite notes with their finger on that screen. When that stage is completed, it will then uh, ask the operator, do you want to take a picture of the surface defect? And the operator can use the camera on their Datamite Revolution or on their tablet or their phone, and they can take that picture of the defect, and then they can bring up that picture and they can mark up and edit that picture. They can circle it, write notes on it. And then when that step is complete, the VSpec system will then allow them to bring up a severity list a list of predetermined severities that they can choose from to assign to this particular defect. And then once that step is done, it will then bring up the image that you see there on the uh, bottom of the screen there. It'll bring up another uh, page with additional questions that your organization may want answered about that defect. So it's a really great system for collecting this visual attribute data. It can be used for surface defects, for weld inspections, any type of visual inspection that you're doing. And again, it's good for any industry, any type of part. Uh, it goes across all industries and in all departments within plants. So another great product we think you'll love. Next slide. And I. I think we I think I've covered that on that. So the next product we have here is called Escalate. And this is another exciting product that I think a lot of you will love. Um, Escalate does two things. Uh, the first thing that it does here on this slide is it provides you with escalation capabilities for your alarms and notifications. So we mentioned that the revolution now has the ability to do alarms and notifications. This product will allow you to take those alarms and notifications to the next level by escalating them. So what you will be able to do as displayed there in the chart on the bottom of the screen is you'll be able to set time intervals for your alarms. Um, say you have five minutes to respond or an hour or a half hour, whatever you choose. And then you can set levels of contacts that will be alerted at that stage. Um, and what it will do is, for the first stage, it will send the alarm to the predetermined people in that stage. If they don't reply after a number of whatever your time period you've set and they don't act on that alarm, it will then escalate that alarm up the chain to the next level. And the great thing is it will keep escalating that alarm up the chain until someone finally responds and acts or until it reaches the top of the chain. So this is another great pokey oak another great level of security to make sure that your uh, non-conformities are being acted on so that you prevent things like you know, runs uh, and trends. Um, so uh, next slide. The next great thing that Escalate does is it provides you with an audit report. And the really nice thing about this audit report is uh, it can be configured for whatever time period you want. So if you need to show all the measurements that were taken in a particular day or a particular week or a particular month, you can do that with this report. And, uh, or the example that I love to use, and we affectionately call this product here at Datamite, the Monday morning coffee report. Um, and that's because the example I like to use is uh, many times uh, a quality manager or, or a torque supervisor uh, will come in on Monday and they want to see if all the measurements that were supposed to be taken over the weekend were taken and if they were taken at the times they were supposed to be taken and if there were any problems with those measurements. So with this report, you now have the capability to do that. Um, you can simply pull up this report and as you can see there from the screen, it has what the time period is there across the top. And 
every little square that you see there is a period of time where if it's gray, no measurement was taken. If it's green, a measurement was taken and it was within spec and it was good. And if it was red, it was a bad measurement that was out of spec. So you can easily look at this report and get an idea of when measurements were taken and whether they were good or whether they were bad. But it doesn't end there. It gets even better because this report also gives you multi-level drill down capability. So you can click on that red square, double click on it, and it will do a deep dive into the characteristic level and other levels so that you can see more detailed information about that out of spec reading. So this is a fantastic report that I think will be very helpful to many of you on the call. And like with the other two products I mentioned, this can run on any uh, mobile device or fixed station PC, uh, and it, including the data might revolution. So it's another tool that just takes the power and the functionality of the data might revolution to the next level to truly make it a data intelligence device that is unlike anything else we've ever seen. Next slide. So in summary, what we've basically talked about is we've tried to make the transition from the 600 to the revolution as seamless and painless as possible for you. We've tried to keep all the things that you've loved about the 600 and then add some new things that you've always wanted in the in the 600. Um, it's the new revolution is loaded with new features that enhance uh, the capability of the data collector and enhance your capabilities to act on the data that you've collected while also protecting your traceability and your data integrity. It's not just a data collector anymore. It truly is a data intelligence device and it truly allows you to collect, analyze, communicate, and most importantly, act on the data that you're collecting. So, and because of DataMite's new data metric, data, metric, data, metric, data uh, database, the revolution can leverage new data metrics, uh, data mine software solutions to deliver innovative ways to re further reinforce this data integrity and traceability uh, that you've come to expect from data mine. So with that, I will turn it back over to Melissa for questions and answers. Thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it. And if you have questions, please let us know. Thank you, Jim. And uh... We have gone a little bit long in our um, presentation, but we're, we just had a, a lot to share with you today. Um, we do have a few questions that have come in and we'd like to try to um, get those um, posed to the team. Um, the first question I have that came in is, will I need to buy new gauges to use with the Revolution? Yeah, I can take that one, Melissa. Uh, no, you will not need to buy new gauges to use with the Revolution. All of your current gauges that you're currently using or torque wrenches that you're currently using with the 600, you can also use with the Revolution. There is one slight exception to that answer, and that is when it comes to analog wrenches or analog transducers. Um, currently, we've done some research and we found that not many people are currently uh, using analog technology for torque, and it's a kind of dying technology. So we have, um, you know, taken steps to move forward with technology and eliminate that. But as long as it's not an analog wrench or an analog transducer, any gauge that you use with the 600 will still work with the set, with the Revolution. Okay, great. Thanks, Jim. Uh, probably have time for one more question. Um, and if you did send in a question we haven't gotten back to you, we will um, have someone reach out to you. Did you say we can use Torque with digital gauges on the same collector? This is Ron. Um, so let me answer that one. Um, and yes, that is correct. In the past, you needed a dedicated collector for each functionality. However, we've, we've designed the Revolution to be a multifunction device. So now it allows you to interface with a variety of gauges in one unit. So it's really a multifunctional intelligent device that it's gonna provide greater flexibility to uh, collect gauge information and torque. Thank you, Ron. And um, 
Our time is up for the webinar. At this time, I'd like to conclude our webinar and I'd like to thank our presenters, Ron and Jim, um, uh, Vicki for being on the line, as well as all of you for joining us. And we look forward to helping you revolutionize the way you are managing portable data collection today. Thank you and have a great day.